Are you okay? You are broadcasting. The Walking Dead. And what happened to it? There it is. It disappears whenever I don't have it um, highlighted. Gotcha. Hey, look, red box. What? <laughs> it, it, it's funny to me ever since they changed the format for the Hangouts. I mean, it'll be in the bottom left to join way before it actually gives you the indication for it. Oh. <laughs> Um, I'll delete this because I never actually did anything with it. Let's see if this actually plays. So you're playing Majora's Mask, huh? That shouldn't be what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Let me refresh it and see if it says different. Okay, there we go. It's always delayed with that. Now let's see how this goes, because I have never read the comic, I've never watched the TV show. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> I actually never... have episode one as well, because it was free on uh, Oh yeah, that's right. Sci-Fi's No Lights Game Show is back. What the? Stupid Twitch ads. Is that? Huh. Funny how mute works. Yeah, Twitch doesn't always respect the mute button. Oh, Twitch. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Didn't do what? <laughs> Um. <laughs> you know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Very trusting this man. Ooh, I can look around. Rear view mirror. I mean, what else are you gonna do? You're in the back of a car. Follow your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Making boy. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. I have a drugstore? Sure is. Good. I'm learning a lot about myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Look at Ruby Ramirez. I already did. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? I'm a teacher. I'm a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? You sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a teacher. I have a drugstore. I'm Regardless, currently married. Could be you just married the wrong woman, or was married. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or she married the wrong guy. <laughs> I was a fan of the A option there. <laughs> the cops I'm driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it 
He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He smart folk glasses. Right Said it wasn't him, crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops. <laughs> having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. <laughs> mama, it's all a big mistake. It oh wow. Me. <laughs> Maybe he was innocent. Innocent. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting oh. her up as the boys oh, came through the wow. door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I hint, got another good hint, one for hint. you. This one's a little bit less depressing <laughs> and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What this other time... Ouch. I don't know. Ouch. Alrighty. That hurt. Well, that's the end of the game. Nothing else to say here. <laughs> yep, I died. <laughs> Didn't even get to the tutorial. I just died. Uh oh. Could it be? Could there be zombies? Zombies? Nah. I mean, it's Walking Dead. It's clearly not about zombies. Nah, because that's not done to death. Ugh. <laughs> Thirsty? <laughs> You're worried about water right now? <laughs> Ouch. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Or, I don't know, maybe he was dragged out? Am I supposed to? Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh, so I can move too. Well, that wasn't a drop. forward. I keep saying W, but I'm using a joystick. Is my leg still... Is my leg still busted or something? Officer? Officer? Officer, are you alive? <laughs> the officer should be safe. Okay, I guess to go get the key is from the dead officer. Ooh, and he's got him right there on his belt. And need ammo for that shotgun for those zombies coming. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you just drop the keys? It's not like he's coming to come alive and bite you. Oh wait. <laughs> Don't drop him this time. Officer. Oh.
Oh wait, did I just die? Yeah. I think I just died. <laughs> wow! This really is where your story ends. <laughs> okay, I died. <laughs> yep, that's what The Walking Dead's about. Being eaten you by were walking, zombies. And now you're dead. Uh oh. So is it gonna. <laughs> Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> the game just freeze? I think so. I, th I, think, th I think the game is dead. Interesting. As you guys can see, The Walking Dead is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> you walk, you die, and apparently the game freezes. Good yeah. stuff. Well, I can walk... see why this got, you know, Game of the Year awards. Oh, obviously. <laughs> I mean, the, the gameplay was just real solid, spot on. You, you shuffle around the car, you walk forward a bit, um, grab the handcuff key, and then you die. Can't get any better than that. Okay, seriously, again, this thing it says it's running. It just <laughs> <laughs> the game's running. It just won't go anywhere. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay then. <laughs> the other funny thing about this game is when you shut it down, mm -hmm. it doesn't actually shut down. It stays running. What? How does that work? I'm not quite sure. But whenever I, you know, exit out of the game and then I go to like launch it again, it says the game's already running. I'm like, where? I have to go into the task manager under processes and find that the EXE is still active. Right. Even though the game is not up. That's really strange. So even the game acts like a zombie. The question is, will you start from where you were? That is a good question. I mean, you really didn't get to do all that much, so did you hit a checkpoint? <laughs> I don't know. Rewind. Continue. I guess hit continue and see what happens. Or maybe you could rewind to, you know, before you got eaten. Oh, so taking the cuffs off was the checkpoint. Okay. Holy shit! Okay, so apparently I have to get away. I'm over to heaven a rock or something. Get hey, away look. from me! I'll stack on shell. Oh, how handy. Now you have ammo. Just don't miss. How come I didn't see that before? Really, dude? <laughs> really? <laughs> just like the, uh... Just like the handcuff. Don't make me do this! There you go, less thinking, more shooting. I just shot an officer. At least I think that's what it was. <laughs> um skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell oh. is this? Um zombie? Hello. <laughs> Can I get up? Why I'm stuck here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's a dead cop. Can I move now? No, you gotta stay in shock for like another five minutes. Oh, I have to... Oh, there's a figure. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what that was. Yeah, I, I, I shot someone. <laughs> Uh, Here's a shooting. Did you use this gun? Yes, you're coming with me. Damn it. <laughs> oh boy. I hear more of them. Ah! Oh. 
Here's a shocker. Here comes the walking dead. I'm gonna be walking dead in a minute here because I'm gonna up. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> brains? <laughs> That's obviously the sound of brains. Why do they always go toward loud noises? Hello? Anybody? There was a shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shot a cop, um, by accident. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. Ooh, I can talk to the tree. Look, you climbed the fence. Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? Help! There are houses there. Why don't you knock on some doors? Yeah, let's try that. Maybe there's someone in this tree house that can help me. Also, I kind of walk like a zombie. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's home. He did come out of a car crash. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. <laughs> need a lot of help. Don't worry. Just some weird creepy guy knocking on your window. No big deal. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> Don't shoot. I'm breaking into your house now. It's all right. I, I have no warrant. Don't shoot me, please. I'm unarmed. I'm Come hurt. On. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I'm not an intruder. No, I just intruded on your house. You know, it's really funny. Before he said, or one of them, I was going to be like, or a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coloring book. Do zombies like coloring books? <clears throat> oh, but maybe you could pick up the crayon and stab some zombies with it. Bowl of fruit. <laughs> oh yeah, let's look at this bowl of fruit. It's fake. Damn. Ah. You know, wax. Good, maybe there's good something fiber. Something on there. Something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43. Yeah. Ooh, we get to listen hey, to all the messages. Santa, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. But anyway, he, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back oh, to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 9-1-1. <laughs> we love you. We love you. We love you. 
I love how she had to specify 911. Hey, are we in um, Canada or something? Is it different? Daddy? Huh? No, I'm just a creepy stranger. Uh, but don't worry. What do you. I keep forgetting that I can move. Drawer. Ooh, walkie talkie. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. Uh, no. no. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> No kidding. Getting around a little better on that leg. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hi, creepy guy that just broke into my house. <laughs> I'm right here. Oh, no. oh, 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 Tell it to you. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Was that the babysitter? Man. <laughs> Hi there. Did you kill it? it looks pretty dead to me. <laughs> I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Sure, because I just showed up out what of nowhere. What should we do now? <laughs> We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Very trusting little girl. Oh, wait, 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 where are you going? It's supposed to be staying close to me. I'm guessing this girl didn't do well in school when it comes <laughs> to following directions. <laughs> oh, it would appear not. Oh, man. 
I ain't hey. never getting home to mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. Are you zombies? Hot dish night. He's worried about a hot dish night. <laughs> and there are zombies invading town. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't think they're going to come home. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. His leg got suddenly better. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying Do to get out think? of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 <laughs> miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... <laughs> Just some guy. Just some guy. <laughs> some guy? <laughs> yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for two I kidnapped her. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. See, his leg got suddenly better. Hey, you know, he's gotta, uh, he's gotta help protect the kids. He's gotta suck it up. Oh, no, he's gonna help the kids. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Disappearing or reappearing on your screen too. It's just it, when I click outside of the window. Ah, I see. So, are there any zombies here? Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. We're just sort of, he's just gonna go carry on with his life, even though zombies are invading the town. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter. <laughs> oh, not his daughter. Ow. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? No. <laughs> yes. Okay, then. Well, <clears throat> looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. No, it's all better now. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. That's fine though, really. I can walk fine. Yeah, and I pushed a car and... Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. 
I stuck my leg like a mouse. Push the car like a mouse. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Does <laughs> that say I Sorry. fell? <laughs> yes. Before the car accident. Oh. Amazing. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. One of those things. Do Doesn't anybody there? know that these are zombies? They are not no. zombies. They are the walking dead. So, yeah, it is. <laughs> you said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. <clears throat> Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm really? serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Because fences are the well, bane of zombies' existence. It should start to feel better tomorrow. All right. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Cut it off. Probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll clean it, redress okay, it. Okay then. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. Oh yeah, I'd There's much prefer that. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. It smells like manure. Manure? <laughs> like uh, when a man. horse plops? Just like that. Uh, this is a barn. That's my mom and dad. I bet. How far is Savannah? Very far. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh boy. Having nightmares. Did his wife get turned into a zombie? Maybe. Hey, get up. Mm. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. <laughs> I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Huh. <laughs> Why do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. 
That is a very pretty name. And you look very creepy. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. That kid looks like Sid from Toy Story. Oh, yeah, he does. It's kind of annoying, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it. It's uh, that's funny. Uh, okay. Wonder if he blows up toys in the barnyard. Maybe he blows up zombies. That would be much more useful. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Okay, so I got, I'm guessing this is sort of the crux you of the gameplay. It gets lots of tangles. You have to talk with everyone. You having a nice time with Katja Clementine? Katja. Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. <laughs> we passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> you don't have to say anymore. Yeah, we just plowed I through them. Tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't True. before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's so almost I... like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? One thing weird about these multiple dialogue choices is you jump radically different subjects rather quickly and it comes off as really strange it also seems like if i'm correct that you're on a timer to decide yes so, uh, many of the actions you have to I'm a you have a couple seconds to here, decide what to do more with dogs and cats does it pick for you if you run out what is it that um I, used to teach up at the I think on the dialogue it might. Need to hope that we can go back to on the quick time events, maybe. no. If back you miss, you're dead. Oh, no, yeah. That, that makes sense. <clears throat> Let's see if it does. I don't... We'll all be home soon. Okay, it just back skips over it. Okay, Lee. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. That was kind of a weird thing to say. Yeah. Go <laughs> oh, by the way. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Um, can I, tell you? I can talk hey to you. There. Kitty. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No. I think I got it. Yeah, because I just tapped. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm pretty sure that was indicated by the fact that he asked if she help. needed to go in the bathroom. <laughs> I keep her safe. I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you got to ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Deep. 
Get back on down Very to Lauderdale deep. and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Because zombies can't I'm swim. a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, <clears throat> dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies probably don't come equipped with flippy floppies. Or or the little waders. Um, what what do they call those things? You, little floaters on your arms. I just call them floaters. <laughs> I have no idea what they're called. Only one guy work on the fence? <laughs> I already did that. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Uh, Seems a little too excited to drive that tractor. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like him. I'm gonna drive this tractor and I'm gonna totally run over your fences. <laughs> hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Ooh, sign minigame. Or may maybe not. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Well, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? <clears throat> My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I feel I like this game's now. trying Thanks. a little too hard not to say the word zombie. Yeah, you would think by now and Sean, people would kind of have a pretty good idea that these no are problem. zombies. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the bar. I mean, it's not like zombies are anything new. Right. I mean, zombies are walking dead. <laughs> yeah, and they, I mean, they've been in literature for eons. So it's, even if they wanted to you know, have this be, you know, trying to not place it where zombies, you know, are pop culture icons or anything like that, it's like people are still going to know what a zombie is. Like, I, I could picture, like, if somebody in, you know, like, if your main character was like, maybe this is the start of the zombie apocalypse, someone else just comes around like, no! They are not zombies! <laughs> How dare you call them that? Uh, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> hmm. Or may, maybe there's a, they're all is in denial. Which would be wonderfully ironic, considering, um... How much people are fascinated with the zombie apocalypse? Absolutely. To then have the zombie apocalypse happen, and everyone is in denial and refuses to call them zombies. And <laughs> uh, oh, hello. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm sorry. Not sure, I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. 
How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? No, I kidnap her from some zombies. <laughs> I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. After I broke into her house, of course. <laughs> hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Do I have a choice? <laughs> sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the <clears throat> cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Uh, did the kids start the tractor? The big kid did start the tractor. Oh, so I have to I had to save either the either the kid or the guy. Well, don't just punch him once, seriously. <laughs> you could do a little more than that. I got you. You're almost through. Uh oh. Please help me, please. Oh. You're not going to shoot him? Safe to say he's going to start changing his mind about things. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Rock in a hard place. Touche. Wonder if you can't even save both of them. That's what I'm wondering. You got that ride to make it if you want it. All I know is this kid is being exposed to so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. she, she's There's like one traumatized kid by the end of this. <laughs> Parents disappeared. Her town got invaded by zombies. Her babysitter got beaten to death with a hammer. This is as far as we're going. She's so either going to go insane or become some zombie killer wielding chainsaws and something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that things didn't turn out so well here either. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. 
Nope, he's not friendly. <laughs> So they they didn't have the sense to bring a gun. You think you wouldn't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. <laughs> you have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't <laughs> have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Oh, look at this. Bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up! I'm confused as to what's going the on here. Up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none oh, of us will fucking to back. recap, I think they're calling each We're other bitches and telling each other to shut the fuck up. up and what the hell are you talking about? This he's kid bitten. needs to go because he got bitten. <laughs> he's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. He's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing. Well, what do you think he's doing? He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Just sock him in the face. I'm surprised that's not an option. Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh. Ouch. <laughs> What happened? I don't know. What the heck just happened? I was running and then I fell. Oh, tap it, tap it. To bust out my Mario Party skills. <laughs> hey, absolutely. <laughs> you okay? Just great, thanks. Keep her alive. <laughs> yes. Guys. 
She seems to be the most useful one so far. You do have more guns, right? I'm gonna get in. Shut up. Oh, the boy's all cleaned up now. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! 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 Uh, heart attack. Did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Nitroglycerin. Get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. We, we also agree. need lots of guns. I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peach Street. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. All right. Now get him those pills. <laughs> so when is Clementine going to become the boss? She, she's the one with the walkie-talkie. This is true. Like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Take it. Ooh, I found an energy bar. And nobody cares. <laughs> Sweet. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Because I know how to fix radios. <laughs> Did you try turning it on? <laughs> Nothing. I kind of think she would have tried that. Nothing. And it doesn't have any batteries. Really? <laughs> what now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. I <laughs> didn't even really know what to look for. You wouldn't know what to look for with batteries? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, lady? Well, she's a good shot, but apparently not good at anything else. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't go bang and kill things, then she's pretty much hopeless. I feel like you're you're playing uh, Survivor with zombies, <laughs> where you gotta choose who's most valuable. <laughs> uh, yeah, the oh, I can give Carly energy bar. She probably wouldn't even know how to eat it. <laughs> Nothing. I'd probably have to unwrap it when for I her. Up outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. okay. <clears throat> uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Uh, photograph.
Greeting cards. Why do I want to look at greeting cards? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> no, the the market hasn't quite caught up to that yet. But take oh, there's batteries right here. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Is was that a battery or batteries? I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey, Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans, says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Yeah, you're the one that wanted Lee, to kill him. And I appreciate your support. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so no we kidding. gotta wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? For them? Yeah, put everybody else in danger. Sounds like a good idea. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Up we there. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill Charles. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Why well, did they even give you a choice there if it was only one? I know, that was... Well, I guess it wanted... It was giving you a choice between doing something or doing nothing. Indeed. Take it. Oh, another energy bar? I'm gonna be loaded up here. Wait for somebody to be like, Yeah, hey, share some with us. There is an office. Oh, I think I need to talk. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, we got that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. They're called zombies, we lady. Stick together and get through this. Do not say that word. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Z word. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option. Right now. I'm just trying to keep no him relaxed. No kidding. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. So why isn't she Sometimes fixing the radio? I'm lucky. 
<laughs> you? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Quite a few of them. Where's her mom? <laughs> Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an oh. answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. So... Another energy bar? Jeez, people. You're gonna get fat by the time you get out of here. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> I was leaving these things lying around. Damn ATM. Oh, I get some money. It's not damaged. Uh, this place didn't get looted. Oh, and I can't get anything out of it. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Oh, so I can give her the energy so, bar. Um, Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Being good is good. Oh, is that's so retarded. <laughs> that's deep. What's <laughs> <laughs> we'll the Okay. Uh, he's getting all deep with that other guy about the kid and saving the boy and whatnot. And he's like, oh yeah, being good is good. <laughs> uh, it's not much, but here you go. Have an energy you. bar. Of course. Yeah, I have an energy bar. I only took like 20 of them. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty more where they came from. Okay, so... That, uh, <laughs> She's sitting there trying to figure that out. <laughs> you know, I have this battery. Uh, what does this do? Great, thanks. Okay, so I apparently need more batteries. Try to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? So we're going in the office Just rip it up. Find anything? 
Hello. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your oh, really store. Now? Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> wow. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? So I killed the senator, huh? The world is ended out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need oh, is Oh yeah, I, I just murdered a senator, but I'm, a, I'm an okay guy. <laughs> don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Look, I need you, you around because I can't even figure out how a radio works. To the group, and we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. You do the thinking, I do the shooting. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Gasp. It's a walking stick. Or something. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Zip uh, around on a okay. cane? I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Clear this door for when we find the keys. Maybe in the desk? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's no not. Kidding. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. And then zombies come bursting through. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? <laughs> I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? <laughs> things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find your bandage. And that's probably in that bright red first aid kit. Huh. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's 
dialogue is thrilling. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Can I get anything else out of the first aid kit? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Luckily. Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, look, there's a remote. I gotta say, this is more interesting than I thought it would be. Definitely, it's... The dialogue is a bit weak at times. Yeah, but it's funny. And believable. But yeah, the, we'll see it alters between the funny and believable and the sort of weak um, adventure game dialogue. So I guess we go to the pharmacy now. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Oh, so now we got to find the keys? Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? <laughs> I, uh, why are you asking me? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Okay, so I need a key. <clears throat> oh, here's another battery. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Are you sure? Hey there. This is Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Little girl. Your daddy on the phone, or on the talkie, or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you. All right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. And her trigger finger is itching. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh! Wow. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. 
and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they Zombies. are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In my parents' basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wow. No, oh, snap. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. This is kind of reminding me of Mass Effect, where you have the in-between mission lull where you have to go around and talk to everybody. And then you have the action sequences. Get down! Yeah, I guess. I, mean, I think you might have played more than I have. I kind of just gave up on it. It's kind of a game, I guess, that could be easy to give up on. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. I'm guessing that's probably dead. Can we get last here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. Maybe we, we gotta should go. stop talking and get the fuck out. I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go <laughs> save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Wait, where am I? What? What's going on? Where am I? Where am I? What is it? okay, okay. Okay. That was weird. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's bored enough. <clears throat> so we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Quietly <laughs> with a cool. gun? A pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. It's for your gun, lady. Where to next? I'll cover you if you sneak over to the RV. How do I access my inventory? That's a good question. Sneak over to RV. Oh, look, see, it called the game calls them zombies. See, zombie. They just can't say it. No, it's a forbidden word. Okay, so how. It says I can use the pillow on him. How is that supposed to work? We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gone, and we can't use that much. Why? I want her gun. I 
give her my the pillow. <laughs> Okay, I'm a bit confused here. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Am I literally supposed to try and smother him? The truck. Let's go over to the truck. Screwdriver. You can jam that in one of the zombies. I mean, uh, Walker's eyes. Making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> hmm. Punch it. <laughs> that would, I don't know, semi quietly, or maybe we just open the door. Of course, it's locked. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow looking near the front. This is an interesting pickle. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. So give her the, give her the frickin' pillow. <laughs> Has he ever heard of a silencer? Yeah, seriously. Put the gun over the pillow, and you have yeah, you have a, a slightly muffled gun. Seems logical. Because it won't let me do anything with the pillow. And I'm having a hard time seeing how I can smother a zombie with a pillow. I have a feeling I could be reloading something. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Therein lies the problem. So, okay, fine. I'm just gonna smash it. Ow! Hey, man! Give <laughs> some attention. Be careful. Okay, so that apparently doesn't work. Mash it harder. 
so I can't smash it. Um, no Lee smash. No, the Lee smash isn't very effective. So, um, oh boy, because what it's giving me the op. I don't even know if it does anything, but it's giving me op the option of smothering the zombie with a pillow. Somehow, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, I mean, technically speaking, it should. But the zombies aren't breathing necessarily. So I'm not quite sure what smothering it would do. Well, look, I mean, this game has already made it clear that they're not zombies. <laughs> Old problem. <laughs> oh, it won't let me do anything with that either. Okay, um. Why can I not give the lady the pillow? And then she can just pick them off. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. I feel this game could have some logic problems. We should keep well, it is a video game minutes. after all. Want to head over to the right? There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. See, they really want me to get that the weapon in the truck. Want me to take that screwdriver? What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay, put the pillow over the window, then take the gun and smash it. All right. Here's what you need to do. You just toss the pillow up in the air, shoot the pillow, they'll be attracted to the loud noise and like the feathers and stuff and then you just run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it would work, but so far it sounds better than any of the other plan the game is trying to have me do. <laughs> Just get like a rock and throw it out in the forest or something. So pick in the truck. Okay, is it gonna let me try and smash it this time or I'm done trying to punch out window? So what do you want me to do? You won't let me use the pillow. You won't let me use my elbow. It's just the brick wall. Okay. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Oh, now Stay it's gonna me. put. Now he's gonna do the pillow. So, no, seriously. Video game logic. Can I open the door? Spark plug. No idea what I'm going to do with that.
gear shift. What would I do with the gear shift? A sparky thing. You should hold on to that. Yeah, I got a sparky thing. So wait, are we gonna push? Okay, so I don't have the pillow anymore, so now I'm just gonna push the car into the zombies. Oh, there's an axe. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't get into the window. Oh, now I can use the spark plug on it. So that's a couple zombies down. So I don't have the pillow anymore. Um. Wait, are there any more zombies by the RV now? Cause there was an axe over there that looked pretty handy. Wait, that, is that one still alive? And why do I still have a TV remote? Weaponry? So now I can just look at that guy. So I can't do anything there. A zombie over there, so looks like I'm still back over to the truck. understand what happened there. Well, you broke the window at least. That could scramble the brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Also, if these things are walking dead, why is it so important to take the brain out? Okay, there's still technically two over there, right? Or not? Oh, I'm gonna do some stealthing here. Where do you get the plant? Nice. Thanks, Is that the screwdriver? Sure. Yeah. He did stick it in his eye. Ooh, an axe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Do I have? Oh, 
And I lost my screwdriver. Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's Dude. cool. Now we've got this. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Two more. That should help. That should help immensely. Oh, fighting stands. Where am I going now? Getting serious now. I'm gonna go upstairs and chop them up. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. And so I have right some behind. swinging room. <laughs> Aim it right, you get both of them in one shot. Where's my camera? There it is. This thing doesn't have a camera control, so that's kind of awkward. I don't think you're going to get them both. Hello. Can I scream? Bam! Rad. Totally rad, dude. Oh, and this should help us get the door, too. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. And whack. You help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bit. She got bit. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not <laughs> Please. Just leave me. Please go. She looks creepy. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So can I, I have an axe. Borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's um, I have an axe. Seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please! Oh, boy. Whoa. Oh! Whoa, take it easy. You just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no, no, no! Somehow I don't think a doctor would help. No. Also, why did you just <laughs> use the axe? <laughs> now they now they just wasted a Let's bullet. Get out of here. On the plus side, we did take out like four zombies. Here they come! Well, you want to take out a whole army? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of the room. 
won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I still need some keys. Okay, where would they hide keys? I thought they said behind the counter, but I am not seeing them. Still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Let me have a look at that. Uh, Go ahead. Did you turn it on? <laughs> Nothing. Did you put the batteries in the proper way? <laughs> nope. <laughs> what a uh, dummy. <laughs> of course she put the batteries in backwards. <laughs> oh, wow. Now let's try turning it on. As the underworld Who fixed it? continues to spread <laughs> unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. And they're dead. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Sure. Let's have a look around. Okay. I think we're gonna need more guns. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all he cares about. And if one gets you, and whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. You think? Yeah, I think so too. So where are these keys? Oh, there's a brick. I can't reach that brick. So, TV. Oh. Huh, maybe that's why I have a TV remote. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Reprogram it so that it turns on all the TVs over there in the TV universal. store. Program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Yeah, dude, it's a TV I memorized remote. all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, of course you did. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Yeah. 
Shiny. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Why not? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Why do you need keys? Why don't you just kick the door down or shoot it or something? I'm fine. Yeah. The yeah. keys aren't in the drugstore. Think they could be out here. If only we had stuff we found throughout this adventure. Okay, so I seriously need to get that brick. I can't reach that brick. So I have him get it. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He just text up and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? <laughs> just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? A bit. I did. Good people. Okay, I really want to get that brick so I can smash that window. Haven't we determined that Lee Smash isn't very good? Well, that's why I want that brick, but it won't. <laughs> Trapped walker, what? Oh, am I supposed to compare it? Trapped over there. Better hear uh -huh. Oh, guess who it is? Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. So get the brick. I think it'd be and worth chuck it at him. <laughs> no, you see get the I brick, you chuck it at the window of the TV shop, TVs make lots of noise, all the zombies go toward the noise, and then you go over and grab the keys. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to... Oh, so that's together. his brother. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. The brick. <laughs> reach the brick. Get the brick. Oh, man. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Get the brick. Chuck it out the window. Hey, yay, yay. Poor little window. There's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Fuck. I can smell. Why can I use the remote on the lock? It's a combination lock. Hmm. Am I gonna have to bust the gate, throw the brick at the window, and run over there? Seems a bit risky, maybe. I know, why can't you just have the other guy, you know, get your foot out there or something and just slide the brick over? Oh, yep, Lee's brother. So the zombie with the keys is Lee's brother. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. <laughs> no. Nope. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really think the fire code violations are a problem right now. And why can't you reach the brick? <laughs> it's right there. Like, literally, a foot from the gate. I think your arm is long enough. If not your arm, then your foot. Open sesame. That <laughs> Why? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Why was that even an option? Oh man, <laughs> that that that's something. Wow, I should have got an achievement for that. <laughs> what a curiosity! Do you do you have any idea how long each of these episodes are supposed to be? Um. I know it's like five of them or so. Yeah, not specifically, though I've heard an hour or a couple hours a piece bandied about. Um, too bad. Yeah, I think some of them are longer than others. Of course, assuming you can actually figure out some of these stupid puzzles. Right, right. Which, some of them are a bit on the Monkey Island side of obtuse. <laughs> okay, am I seriously going to have to smash this thing? Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. That chopping the lock didn't make that much noise. Seriously? <laughs> Okay, get the brick. Good. Now chuck the brick at the window. And I hope you have a good throwing arm. <laughs> Shit, I missed! <laughs> and that one guy looks really creepy. Shiny. Shiny. Now is he gonna have to smash his brother's Be head careful. in? Keep an eye out, will you? Next problem is how are we gonna lock gate back up? And why aren't you running, dude? Talk to the friggin' zombie. What's the matter with you? <laughs> what? Like, what, what's the point? <clears throat> Give me a second. Yeah, let's just talk here with this zombie. Hey, zombie, what's up? <laughs> Seriously, that's all it took. Nope. Tough guy. You think this be would be making some noise? Still not dead. Okay, now he should be. He's holding back. Of course, how this is attracting no attention whatsoever. Of course not. They're they're all too busy watching TV. Holy crap! Run! 
I've got the keys! <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh crap, zombies! I forgot about those! Uh, they, they didn't like the channel. <laughs> uh, um, there's no lock on the gate anymore, guys. Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. There's no lock on the gate. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh, I could have just used my axe on it. <laughs> I wonder if that actually would have worked. <laughs> oh no. What the shit? We got to hurry. Whoa. What's going on here? She's got a screwdriver in her shoulder. What exactly is going on here? Oh. The gate. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I think I should have just used my axe on the office door. Stay away from the windows. <laughs> Why isn't anyone getting like tables or something? What am, wait, what am I? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, let's let's go back to that. Sure, whatever. Well, right. Thanks. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this. <laughs> Seriously? I should know what? Huh? Is that I should know? Yeah. You just talk to the room, not you. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay then. Well. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. All right. Good. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Really? Uh, Mario Party. Oh, it's walking. Doug or oh I have to do one or the other seriously wait wait whoa whoa okay um grab something he's a good shot keep her okay now shoot the guy at the window oh she was out she was out of bullets I guess oh, oh, oh here he goes There is no run button. Excuse me? Really? Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Oh, 
Nice guy. They help him get his pills, then he socks me in the face. Should have fed him to the zombies. Yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah, wipe your pants. So wipe your hands on your pants, cause you know. It's not contagious. <laughs> He's gonna tear off the brother, right? Oh, he's not? Okay, can I go punch him now? I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. <laughs> I'm curious to see how this is supposed to end. Considering Likewise. it's, you know, a zombie apocalypse and those never end well. Okay, can I seriously go punch that guy in the face now? Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. I think it's a little late for that. <laughs> well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Okay, where is that guy? Can What am I... Ah. There's no camera in this game what am I stuck on <laughs> I can't move hey what is he seriously what <laughs> wow I'm okay you know considering I, do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug we couldn't have saved him could we I don't think so it happened pretty fast I know it's stupid we just met and he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Connor. I wonder if you could have, um... Grabbed... 
See, it always, it always gives you the choice between one or the other. Right. But some of them, it seems like you could have theoretically helped both of them. And why am I slowing down? <laughs> Your leg, it's acting up again. Come on, let me just let me punch him this once. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So? It can't really help us. But, I know. It's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Yeah, I have a fist that's itching to acquaint itself with your nose. What do you want? <laughs> you like my daughter? I beg your pardon? Oh, she's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. What sound? This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. What about food? We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> and there go the lights. <laughs> End of chapter one. Next time. On The Walking Dead, like a TV series. No. No, don't freeze up. There we go. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. Yeah. I want you thought to we'd be fine if we survived the zo I mean, walkers. to get food, Lee, soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the Fuck with us! Now we're gonna take the farm! There's too many of them! Yeah! Bows and arrows, really? Sounds intense. Well then, that uh, that was pretty interesting. Okay, 
You and 63% of players were honest. <laughs> Only 49% of players chose to save Duck. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, uh, that's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Only forty-eight percent of players defended Kenny, which was to try and save Duck. <laughs> uh, give Irene the gun. Fifty-five percent of players refused to give Irene the gun, and seventy-six percent of players chose to save Carly. Uh, that's interesting. This isn't that bad. No. This isn't that bad, and dare I say I'm interested in part two. I think the PC one is still on sale on Amazon for like 12 bucks. So I got it during the... Steam holiday sale. They had the whole series on sale for twelve fifty. You thinking about getting it? Oh, I already got it on Steam. Like all of them? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, the, they had the whole series. The, they had the whole season one on sale for twelve fifty on Steam. Um, I probably I would might have got it on Amazon, but at the time when it was on sale on Steam. Amazon's um, sale page was a little whacked out, so only the Mac version was on sale. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> but but now both of them are on sale for twelve fifty this week. Indeed. This is a uh... should we make a thing out of this. Doing each of the episodes. I'm really curious to play through it again just to see with the different choices how it really affects anything. Yeah, I could actually play through this first one myself as well and see, you know, what happens. I only have the first episode. Should definitely should definitely do more of these. Like each time you go on here, like do a different episode. Uh huh. De definitely a very Mass Effect like vibe. It's like, uh, I you got Mass Effect with the choices, but it's all, it also kind of reminds me of uh, Heavy Rain, because you interact and whatnot, except this game's a little more interactive than that. I don't know. I've watched gameplay clip, clips of Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain and I don't know. <laughs> I like the idea in theory, but the way they executed it just looks really, really bad it's actually not that bad oh some of the dialogue and stuff just was like it it literally sounded like they recorded the dialogue the same way i'm recording with i just have a mic in a, in a regular room you know not nothing fancy right get some echoes in there some tinny sounding voices and actors who don't know what they're doing did you ever play uh, a game called Indigo Prophecy? No, I did not. Ah, okay. Because that's the first game they came out with before Heavy Rain. Okay. Because they kind of make those, and that now their next game is going to be that uh, that game for the PS3, Beyond Two Souls, or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. That one looked kind of interesting. Except I was hearing some stuff about the developer wasn't really concerned about it making sense or making... I, he said he wasn't worried about the game making sense gameplay-wise or plot-wise or whatever. That doesn't sound too promising. Yeah, it was almost like he was kind of going with having random quick time events and action sequences with no real cohesion or anything. Which doesn't exactly thrill me. Right. You're starting to get a little too artsy for me when he's going to have this interactive experience. Yeah, and that being said, if you want artsy games, you play something like uh, Journey. Yeah, which that was actually kind of cool because it felt a little more like a game. 
I'm interested to either see that or try it out at some point because it does seem interesting. Yeah, they do, they don't really give you any um any direction, but you you do eventually sort of recognize very various traditional gameplay goals of like collect this or use this to access here or activate these things to construct these so it still plays very much like an actual game it's just very casual in that there's no real time limit there's no real enemies there's your your basic it's basically just you have to get from point A to point B and you kind of figure out along the way how to get there gotcha So it's more artsy in the direction and style of the game rather than the game play. Makes sense. All right, dude. I'm going to go ahead and pop out of here. All right. Let me know when you either do another stream or do episode two.